While all eyes are on Milwaukee tonight, tomorrow they're going to be on Waukesha County, and that's where the trial against Daryl Brooks will begin with the defendant representing himself. Brooks is charged with killing six people at the Waukesha Christmas Parade last year. Bill Miston takes a look back at what got us to this point. November 21st, 2021, 4 p.m. The Waukesha Christmas Parade kicked off. It started here at East Main and White Rock. Parade goers lined the route. The dancing grannies, marching bands, and others walked along the parade as they were cheered up. But about 30 minutes after the parade started, calls started to come in about something happening near Frame Park. And two citizens with me on Hartwell and White Rock saying that there's a fight in progress. And one of the squads go meet with uh, where the subjects are that are claiming that this fight happened. Less than a minute later, Maroon Ford escapes with blue bike, white rock and hard while heading into the parade road. Red is my escape, black male, I couldn't stop it. He's going west on his horn. Main and Barstow, Main and Gaspar. We have multiple casualties. Main and Gaspar, we need multiple 552s. The code for ambulances. Station 4, Station 2, Station 1, Station 3 and Station 5, unknown incident type, downtown. As the red SUV approached West Main in Wisconsin, running people over, witnesses said it appeared to be zigzagging, avoiding cars, but not people. Dispatch, I shot from the moment everyone started screaming over the radio. So the car came through. The car left the parade route, but the damage was done. Six people were killed, dozens injured, in mere minutes. The car was later found not far away, abandoned in a backyard off of Maple. The driver, Daryl Brooks, was found a half mile away, knocking on a door. He was charged two days later. Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. And our Brett LeMoyne will be covering that trial for us starting tomorrow.